Agora TV. The world is thinking. What I want to do just to uh, lay the uh, foundation here is to just to provide some, a basic reminder about some facts, uh, basic facts about cyber operations and, the, uh, uh, and their operational implications. There are two categories that you want to think about, what I'm going to call attack, cyber attack, and cyber exploitation. Um, and these are technically very similar but conducted for very different purposes and operate under very different legal regimes domestically. Uh, the attack, what I'm going to call an attack, is some action that you take to de destroy, degrade, disrupt, do something bad to somebody's, uh, to an adversary's information technology or the systems or the information uh, in, inside. Um, exploitation, cyber exploitation, is the act of stealing information out of it and in the best possible case the other guy never knows you were there. So, you get, so the canonical example is he's broadcasting something in the air and you put up an antenna and grab the information and um, decode it and he never knows that, you, that, you, that you've touched it. Um, and of course there are cyber analogs to, to, to that too. Um, note, by the way, that almost everything in the public uh, discussions, um, bad press and, and, and so on, conflates cyber attack and cyber exploitation. That is, everything is a cyber attack even if its purpose is to just get information. Okay, so that's beware when you're reading the, the, the press. Many reporters, present company accepted, um, don't make that distinction. Um, it's also important to note that both cyber attack and cyber exploitation can be used for offensive and defensive purposes. That is, you might be willing, you might conduct a cyber attack for a defensive purpose. For example, if somebody's trying to attack you with a, do a cyber attack on you, you might conduct a cyber attack on, on them to uh, disable the attack coming in. Um, and so keep, keep that in mind. Uh, 